What's going on everyone, how's it going, and welcome to the day. We are on the sixth floor of the mall. This is our new favorite spot in, in Bucharest. Maybe not, we haven't seen very many spots. Don't really know what today's gonna be about, to be honest you guys. We're going to the gym right now, and we gotta figure out something to do, because what do you do when you can't play poker and stream? That's kind of like a major pillar of the day. So no goal list, we're gonna work out, and then we're gonna figure out the rest as we go. So thanks for tuning in, and let's grind. So today is exercise number two, which is hip thrusts, leg extensions like core, push-ups, pull-ups, pull-downs, are those lats? Mm -hmm. Lat pull-downs, and then tricep like here. Face pulls. Face pulls. That and the warm-up, so that's the routine today, which is like my second rotation. So. Yeah, that's it. It's so heavy. You fucking beast. I can't get the grip on it. Alright, Bonus. Nah. What? Only We're done. Yeah, we're done. We're done. This is good. Let's just hang here for a while. What now? You tell me. I bet we're gonna go to Subway. I'm gonna get a chicken salad to go, put it in the fridge to eat later. And then, yeah, to figure out like the most productive use of the day without playing poker, without streaming. Don't know what that is. Don't know. I mean, I, I have some ideas, but here's the thing, like, it really comes down to, I'm not clear enough on what goals I have in relation to getting better at poker, like what I want to achieve, and what I want to do in terms of like being a poker ambassador and creating content, right? Like a Twitch stream and growing a YouTube channel. I'm not clear enough in my mind what I want to accomplish there. So without clear goals, it's really hard to take clear action. I'm gonna figure that out. So, where are we going? Food, subway? Okay. Do salt and pepper, oregano. Yeah, a little bit of yogurt, please. Good song for you. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> Slow down, man. That was a 
good one. Slow down. When the run is ramped yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Slow down. That's good. I think Matt missed that. Slow down. How's the gym? Workout it was good. I don't know what to do for pull-ups. I used the Smith machine to do the incline push-ups because I'm s too heavy still, or s too weak, okay? <laughs> so we used the incline to do like fake push-ups and then the half fake pull-ups. This Smith machine has a bar where your head's supposed to go. It's like push-up, boom, onto your head. Doesn't work. So I just did like extra bench today, but I don't know what to do for pull-up. I thought maybe I could like do like a, an incline like this. I don't know. We gotta talk to Mike. But I'm sure the comments will let us know what they think we should do instead of pulling up body weight like this. An incline. Salad. Hey, man. Wait, wait, man. What are you doing? Battle grounds, man. You winning? Mm, I got three kills, but... It's like an MTT, mate. Mate? Mate. <laughs> Chris, how was that? You oh, know what I've eaten today, Chris? Six out of ten. What? I've eaten about 700 calories. You know how much I want to kill you right now? 13. I'm so hungry. I'm literally dead. This is pretty good, though. Matt, we're not very far, dude. 104 pounds or something. It's easy. Easy. You just triggered everyone that's bet against us. We're gonna lose. We're not going to lose. Look, there's ladies laying around. I'm down 43 pounds. You're up like 30 something. I'm up 26, 27. Okay, but I mean, we're doing good things. We're doing good things. You know what's happening as well? I'm starting to get less hate messages, which is cool. It's turning into, I think he's gonna fail after the bet. It's like the new neutral. All right, yeah. Which is a big confidence boost, cause like, people are starting to believe I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do it. People that are really smart and I really respect their ability to quantitative, like, figure this stuff out. Timex and Doug Polk both bet against us on big numbers, like 10, 11, 12 to one. No chance. Yeah. I think we get it done like 95% of the time. Just based on where we're at right now, the support system we have, how we know the future is gonna shake down as well. We're gonna be seeing Mike a decent amount. Like Pre-bet, I thought the true odds were like one to one. I thought we could get it done half the time. After the first Mike visit, before his second visit, I thought we could get it done seven out of 10 times. And after the second visit, I thought 95%. And I'm still at 95%. Yeah, I don't see how we fail, really. It's gonna be tough. I mean, like, we live together. You guys aren't gonna let me fail. The support is, like, too real. And the pressure from just you two, never mind the rest of the world, the pressure from you two to, like, crush this, it's too high. Failure is not an option. It's so. not. It's not an option. This no. Point. You know what isn't a big sweat, but is the biggest sweat, is the one pound difference now. That's what I've been saying. Think about it. If we could get it done on any any day within the year, we'd say we win every time. 99 out of 100. Come on, Matt. Come on, man. It's 12.15. I don't know if the vlog knows that. What do you know? We have the meetup tomorrow. What we talked about in the gym, I've been thinking about all day, like how exactly I can better use these days. And I feel like I've actually got a lot of work done today, but I need a better definition for what is it I'm trying to do in poker? Specifically, what do I want to do? I want to win titles. So like Sunday Million, Scoop, W Coop, World Series of Poker Bracelet, Poker Stars Championship events, Poker Stars Festivals, like those sort of things, right? I'm not in it for like like this many dollars per year. To me, like I, I think getting into poker for that reason is kind of silly. It doesn't fit with my MO. If your goal is to make a lot of money, there's so many different fields where for less effort, you're going to earn more money. Like it's hard to become really, really elite at poker. It takes a lot, just a lot. It's not like everyone wins, it's a business, everyone gets paid at the end of the day. You're competing against other like-minded individuals, $4. Sick. So I need to come up with a better definition of what it is exactly I'm trying to do and then I can tailor my goals to be more specific towards that. And the second thing is we've seen this continual three parts to my day. And the first is the ultimate sweat, getting healthy. That's pretty clear and defined. You gotta work out every day and eat clean. 
to, to the end of that. The poker, right? Get better at poker, which we just talked about. And then the third is like being an ambassador for poker, growing the game of poker. Right now involves this vlog channel, trying to show a little bit behind the life of like what I do as a poker player. The Twitch stream, the YouTube channel, Facebook, the Instagram, the Snapchat, the Twitter, like all of those things are what helps get the word out that this game is like cool and you should try and play it. And then gets my name out there as well. But my goals aren't super clear. Do I want to become the biggest poker stream on Twitch? Do I want to become the biggest poker YouTube channel? Do I want to get on a commercial? It's just not clear in my head. Whereas the bet is very clear. We need to get to the same weight as Matt. Here's how we have to do it. I need to get more specific to be able to accomplish them. And get things done on days like today where I'm not playing any poker and I'm not streaming. So, uh, you know, I've been doing like business sort of things. I would love to have something like the ultimate sweat where we have a clear target. We need to be the same weight on a certain day. I'd love to have that for poker. But again, it can't be dollars. There's too much variation, and that's not what's important to me. If I make 50,000 or 40,000, I don't care. Thousands and thousands of people have earned 50,000 and 40,000. An elite group has won this tournament or won this tournament or whatever. And then also just like trying to create better content. How do I think about that in a way and show the journey of being a content creator, someone that wants to make things and be a brand ambassador. How do I tell that story? I don't know, I've been thinking about it. That's what I've been doing, man. But UK, Cardiff. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, man. UK is, uh, UK is my number one on YouTube, more than the United States. Yeah, on my poker channel, it's like a little bit more than the US, maybe another 15% on top. On my vlogging channel, it's a little bit below the US. It'll be, I mean, it'll be nice to vlog in, in Cardiff. Our place looks pretty swag. It does. There's a lot going on in their house. We'll see. You guys will see. We'll do the house tour when we get there, but. Yeah. So, that's it. That's it. That's all. I'm going to get back to work for a little bit and then go to sleep. Wow, this is starting out to be a thought and a half right here. Hello, Matt. Hola, senor. Say hello to the vlog. Final table. Good. Oh. Three and Easy. <laughs>